Well, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing well. This is the nicest I've ever been dressed to go inside of a Target. And it's not because they're hiring. For that, I would have worn my red suit. It's because today is Dapper Day. No, not at the Target. At Disneyland. I already decided a while ago that Mr. Dapper would not be making an appearance at Dapper Day at Disneyland this time. Mostly because I wanted to have some fun with Allie, just being dapper at Disneyland. But last night, Allie and I had to go to a wedding, so I've already worn this outfit, and she already looked really beautiful at the wedding. And then we slept in, and now we're in a Target. How come we're in a Target? Shoes. Shoes. I bought this suit last year that I gained a little weight and kind of had to squeeze into. And I'm sure Allie has many wonderful dapper outfits at her parents' house with all the other stuff she couldn't bring with her to Southern California. So we're keeping it simple. I'm wearing my wedding and funeral suit because those things go together. And Allie is wearing a little black dress and we're looking for some little black shoes. Six? Those are too big for you. Speaking of shoes. I am glad I am a dude because I can get away with things like this. Eh? Eh? What do you think? The girls always have to find just the right shoe for the outfit and I just do this. Although I'm less sure that I'm getting away with this because I'm a dude than just because, you know, I'm me. That is about the 15th pair of little black shoes you've tried on. No. No. Hey Allie, you could wear some rubber Fashion rain boots. I hear they're all the rage this fall. Topical! You're right. What about these? Look! Florals! Florals are cool! I saw some at Forever 21! Pocahontas boots! Hey, what about some weird knockoff Ugg boots with straps and zippers? Like no. so many ways to fasten, you know? You never get bored. Oh dang, forget those other boots. These are the Pocahontas boots. You don't think these would match? You're black. She's ignoring me! Allie, Allie, I found some shoes your size. I found some shoes your size. They sparkle. They sparkle. What'd you say? Do I like those ones? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. So they don't hurt my feet. Yeah. That would be good. Last upper day, I pretty much had to carry you out of the park. You were walking like, like steps like this because your feet hurt so bad from those little... I, I like wearing heels though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, wear whatever makes you comfortable and wear whatever makes you feel good. I just feel like you have to wear heels with this. You have to wear heels with it? Like you have to wear heels on Dapper Day, I don't know. Okay. Dude, the first Dapper Day I went to, I pretty much was dressed as a hobo. And not even on purpose. I love how you have to have the string between them to try them on, as if that gives you any idea what walking in real life is like. Walk, walk again. <laughs> Going to prom with a penguin. I'm kind of tempted to just take off this suit and go to Dapper Day in this shirt and these pajama bottoms here. Oh no, I take it back. There's a family sleep two-piece. Wait, what? Family sleep two-piece set. Ooh, the whole fam can dress up in Rudolph PJs. That's weird. Ooh, ugly Christmas sweater. Too hot for that right now, though. Dapper day at Target. Let's just stay in Target. There's air conditioning, no crowds. Yeah. You know, a lot of red. <sighs> just remember, that's gonna have to count as your Christmas present. Sam and Libby shoes. Ah, off topic, but look at this. It's like a kid's Raiders of the Lost Ark jacket. That's so cute. That's so cute. Okay, let's go to Disneyland. Thanksgiving cards. You're so nice. If pilgrims had known you, they'd have been really thankful. <laughs> it's a dog card. The inside caption for me with a dog card would have been like, You're the man now, dog. First we have to pay. Normally I don't like self-checkout, but the lines were too long. Ooh. Look at those bags. I wonder if that graphic designer brought his bag idea to his boss. And the boss was like, hey, that's red on target. We pretty much already missed half of Dapper Day at Disneyland. But since we were at a wedding last night, we were kind of dressed up. I'm gonna go ahead and count that as a full day anyway, so it's fine. My aunt married a guy named Jack. So I have a new uncle, Uncle Jack. Good old Uncle Jack. That's weird, that's weird. That's a weird thing to say. It's not every day that you're like, I got a new uncle today. What'd you do? Went to Target, huh? Okay. Look, Allie, it's a sign! The exit for Disneyland! Are you excited about Disneyland? Yeah. Are you excited? That didn't sound excited. That was an insincere yeah. I am. No, I don't <laughs> think you are. I am. Uh, what's, gonna, what's it gonna take to make you excited? Pizza. Okay, pizza. Oh yeah, pizza. Sometimes I don't want that pizza, and then sometimes I'm like, every day. 
Give me the pizza. Oh, it's that fun thing where they close the parking garage. <sighs> Every once in a while, the Anaheim PD blocks off the Disney parking garage. It's all in an effort to divert all the parking into Anaheim-owned parking structures. From what I understand, it goes back to the whole Disney was supposed to build three parks and then Anaheim was supposed to do all this stuff so that Disney would have all this nice resort area and then in exchange Disney was supposed to have three parks with so there'd be even more visitors but they never built the third park so Anaheim kind of picks on them from time to time like well we're gonna take some of that sweet sweet parking revenue. However parking is free on my pass so I do not want to park in the 16 or 18 or 25 dollar Anaheim parking garage whatever it is. So we're gonna circle the block as many times as it takes. Yay. Ooh actually I think I know a way around this. I think I know a sneaky way. Let's take the secret entrance. This is rad. Look at this Look at these people selling fruit right there on the corner. That's awesome. I tried to sell fruit on the corner, Al, but it was mostly pumpkin slices because I found out the pumpkin was a fruit. It was pumpkin and parts of tomato and I would cure them in a bit of vinegar and I would try to sell them to people as they would walk by on a hot summer day and as soon as they caught a whiff of that vinegar, they always, for some reason, they were just like, they just didn't want it anymore. It was weird, they kept just walking away. I don't know, never could make a go of it. I tried. Hello, Betsy Ross Elementary School. Okay, here's what you do for all my friends who always get stuck having to be diverted away from the parking garage. Come all the way back around down to Manchester. Like you're going along the five south again, so you gotta go north a little bit, then come down Manchester south back towards Disneyland, and then, and then you can come over here and take the bridge that pretty much directly goes up into the Disney parking garage. Basically the roadblock is underneath us now and we're going straight into the parking garage. So that is my secret for getting around that. I never like giving away that secret but it just I can't stand it anymore. We just want a park! So next time they try to bamboozle you, now you'll be too boozled to bam. You know? That's true. Ooh! Outside parking! So one thing that Disneyland is sort of inferior to versus the other Disney parks is being able to park you and get you into the park. That whole process is no good. But not because of the cast members or the staff or anything. Just because they took away Disneyland's original parking lot to build DCA. And ever since, they've never really been able to handle the volume of people trying to visit. They need more parking lots. And they're getting them soon, so hopefully it'll be a lot better soon. Uh-oh, starting to look dapper already. Allie has already had to stuff paper towels into her shoes to make them fit. I told you they were gonna be too big. Yeah. She never listens. Don't worry though, nobody's gonna know, okay? Nobody's gonna see this video. Well, very few. You always say you can wear size six. You can't wear size six. I know, I know. It's funny because I can never get shoes in size 13. Like if I go to H&M or Target or any like normal place like that. And you, you can never get shoes small enough, so. We're on opposite ends of the spectrum there. All right, first things first, we head over to the Disneyland Hotel for the Dapper Day Expo. Dapper Day started out as just a few friends coming to Disneyland and getting dressed up. And then more and more people started getting in on the fun. And they started to add the Dapper Day Expo where vendors could come and sell their dapper wares. No Tupperwares though. At least as far as I know. Not yet. Not yet. Too soon. Ah, everybody looks so good out here. It's going to look even better inside. Yes, he did his duty and held the door open for us. That was Mr. Sean Connery. Ooh, look at this. It looks remarkably similar to last year, but you can never have too much dapper. This is where you get your official Dapper Day merchandise. Look at all those wonderful Dapper Day things. Products galore. Ooh, and look at all the sick fun pick opportunities. Ah. Fun pick line. I want one of these booths next time. Or actually, wouldn't it be great if Mr. Dapper had one of these booths and could do a whole fun pick opportunity next time? Look at all these Dapper looks they put together from all the vendors here. Oh, look at this, Allie. Look at the Shriners look. I kind of want a robe like that, a smoking jacket. I could smoke my bubble pipe in it, you know. Oh, Allie hates my bubble pipe. I'm constantly smoking my bubble pipe in bed. Bubbles are everywhere. She just, she's over. Oh, look at these purveyors of fine suits here. Ooh, some fine footwear as well. See, look at it. Now we're gonna get new shoes, aren't you? Mm -hmm. 
I take it back, they've packed the space way more this year than last year. There's a lot more vintage stuff than there used to be. I mean like bona fide used vintage stuff. Look at those vintage patterns. I don't sew, but I know what those are because my grandmother used to work in a sewing store one time. She talked about it a lot. Hey, look, I could get a new suit and wear a cowboy hat. Allie, look, the perfect hat for you. Just try it. Does being in that hat make you unhappy? <laughs> She's never gonna let me pick out hats for her. It's okay. I like the changing rooms. They look like old fashioned beach booths. Dress belts. And scarves. Ooh, there you go. Vintage Aunt Edna style glasses. Ooh, look at you. You look good. <laughs> look at all these dresses. I feel like Lucille Ball would approve of some of these vintage dresses, Allie. Some of them are really pretty. Not, not this one though. This one, not so much. Everybody's comparing vintage merchandise buys. Look at that! That's a great purse right there. You use it for fishing too if you ever get bored. Like the old cartoons, you know? Oh yeah. Where they have the fishing boxes. Or a picnic. Sweet. Gloves and ties and hats. Oh my! What you need is one of these giant floppy hats. You could make a statement like that, Allie. Make a statement. Look at this. Suavecito pomade now makes suavecita. Products for ladies, Allie. For ladies. That's an interesting booth right there. It's like the back of a bus. Oh, look. Lipstick. Oh, here's the man version over here. Look at all that suavecito. That's a lot of pomade back there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They're dancing. They're dancing. <laughs> They're dancing. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. You can even make your children dapper. Someone finally had the guts to ask, what about the children? More fun pick opportunities back there, more booths. Ooh, I saw this art here last time. Mexicans. Is this wrapping paper? I love that. So many dapper people. So many dapper products. There's so many outfits here. I wish I was a millionaire so I could buy all these clothes. Well, it'll take a lot of haircuts, but you'll get there someday. Look at that, look at that fun pick right there. That's a good fun pick. That's a fun one. Look, it's R2-D2 and BB-8. BB They're dating. I knew that would happen. They're married, actually. Oh. Did you make these yourselves? She did. Yeah. Yes. The whole thing? The, the whole entire outfit? Yes. So I was going to say, I've never seen that before. An R2 suit. You know, it's weird. BB-8 was originally supposed to be a girl. Kathleen Kennedy came out and said, yeah, we're going to have a female droid, BB-8, and then they just changed it That's right before the movie. I didn't know that. So that tells me BB-8 can be whatever he... Or she. Exactly. <laughs> that is amazing. Take off the this ball. is amazing. Yeah, actually, oh, look at we the got pocket little, square. Well, hold on. We got little light bulbs that. Uh, little light bulbs? No way. So, like, when, no. when, it, comes, when it comes to nighttime. No like, way. And you created this. Yes. Vanessa and Jonathan. Jonathan. That's amazing. <laughs> Fun pick. You never know who you're gonna run into. Now that's a feather in a cap. I call that one macaroni. Up oh, here's Spike's girlfriend's booth. I see her in there. The pink collar life of California. Hi Ashlyn, how you doing? It is much more popular in the expo this year. And the crazy part is they don't just do the expo only on Dapper Day, it's a few days before as well. So it's extra popular. Usually on Dapper Day itself, the expo is kind of empty, but not this time. There were not this many people in here last year on Dapper Day, right? Yeah, it's getting bigger. Hey, look, they have little small dresses for you. Oh, uh, someone's excited. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. Allie's gonna try on that dress. I'm gonna hang out in the raddest idea ever. The vintage styled waiting area. Look at this, set up like an old living room. Oh, my favorite show. It's almost like what you have to do is shop at each Dapper Day for the next Dapper Day. These are all Mary Blair patterns. They're kind of expensive, but they're so cool. I always wanted that book of Mary Blair's artwork. I never ended up getting it. I did get to see the museum exhibit, but I just never got the book. Whoa, look at your outfits right there. You've done it, you've gone full <laughs> dapper. That's amazing. This is how I'm gonna see all the dapper outfits. Let's just go down the line of people waiting in line for the fun pick. Look at all these outfits. I'm weirdly feeling underdressed. Oh my gosh, that guy is C-3PO dapper. C-3PO. 
sleepy, O oh Dapper. Allie's still changing. Check out this vintage Packard. A lot of people are taking fun pics with this car here. My great grandfather had a used Packard during the Depression that I know he was very proud of. Not as luxurious as this car, the Packard 8, but still, he had a Packard. You know they're good because they're still making them. Oh. A lot of great looks and styles and hairstyles at Dapper Day. People are having a good time. Oh, look at this. It's so sweet. Dapper people. Dancing. They're dancing. Dancing. It's Danny Terrio, the host of Dance USA. Ooh, look at this guy. He's getting a Dapper Do. Dapper Do's going down at the Suavecito booth. I wish I could dance, but I can't. I've actually got three. My right two left feet are both really small, so they fit in this one shoe. But three is too, too many feet to dance. I honestly don't know what I'm saying. I'm just hungry. Come on, Allie. I'm almost done. Hey, look at you. You look perfect. Yeah, she looks perfect in that dress. It's a must purchase. Dude, you look so perfect. I love you. You look gorgeous. All right, good times at the Dapper Day Expo. They're doing another Dapper Day at Epcot in six days, but I don't think I can walk that fast. All right, time to go from the Disneyland Hotel to actual Disneyland. Mostly because I'm starving. I need to eat. Gotta rub Mickey's nose for luck, though. Allie, rub Minnie's nose. It's for luck. You have to. Oh, whew. We almost had bad luck today. You are a knockout, doll. You are a knockout. Beautiful. Mm. Just saying, very dapper. To be honest, the expo is actually sort of becoming my favorite part of Dapper Day. That's mostly because the first time I went to Dapper Day, it was so novel to be dapper at Disneyland. Like, I'm dapper there. But now, there's been Dapper Day after Dapper Day after Dapper Day all at Disneyland. I only went to one at Walt Disney World and I wasn't very dapper at it. I was wearing shorts. So wearing a suit at Disneyland it's starting to have less appeal for me. But at the Dapper Day Expo, I can see all the dapper people all coagulated, that's the wrong word, into one area. There's no lines for anything, all these cool products to check out. They always do two dapper days at Disneyland every year. I feel like they should only do one and like switch which one it is and then do the other one like on the Queen Mary or somewhere like that. I would love to go to Dapper Day on the Queen Mary. Dude, that dress. You look so cute in that dress. You look so cute. I wanted to go to Tortilla Joe's, but the wait to get a table was a little too long. I am very hungry right now. Also, you know, it's pretty expensive. Which didn't feel like that much of an, uh, an object right now, because I feel like since I'm dressed fancy, it makes me feel like I'm rich. Like, oh yeah, I got money for tortillas. No problem, I'm wearing a suit, aren't I? I forgot, it's also the beginning of daylight savings time. Oh, wait, is it the beginning of daylight savings time or the end of daylight savings? We fell back. Spring forward, we fell back. We fell back. So right now, it's an hour earlier than it is. Which means it's about to get dark. Johnny Depp? Well, it doesn't matter if it's getting dark or not. Normally on Dapper Day, I'm running around trying to film every single person and every single thing that's happening, but this year, I promised myself, well, this time, I promised myself, no, just gonna be cool. Just gonna go casual and hang out. So we don't have to stay the whole night, but we definitely have to get some pizza because I'm gonna die. Ugh, the metal detector line. I don't mind safety, I really don't. I just wish we could be safe quicker. Especially when I know there's tasty, terrific pizza on the other side of these lines. Question, Allie, do their pizzas play DVDs? No. Oh. Okay, we made it. Oh. Wow. Wow. Can we just appreciate the beauty out here for a second? This is awesome. They have Soren music playing in here. The music, is it from the beginning or from the end? Whatever. They have the Soren music playing, but now I'm used to this music playing outside of Epcot. So I was like, Epcot music? And it took me, it took me a second. What a beautiful sunset hour. And look, sunset always means crows. Thousands and thousands of crows come out of Disneyland at sunset. People always ask why, because this used to be all farmland as far as the eye can see. And thousands and thousands of crows, or well, hundreds and hundreds of crows at least, have always found a home at Disneyland. They can't get rid of them, not after making Dumbo. Ah, the Disneyland crows. I always uh, take for granted the fact that there's so many Disneyland crows. I always forget about them until I take a picture or something and people are like, what's up with all the blackbirds? And now Bye Bye Blackbird is stuck in my head. Great. Look at, look, Christmas. Christmas time is coming. Don't concentrate on Christmas, Justin, it's Dapper Day. All right, let's head inside now. Up, 
I see sensational Disney's most dapper parade. I'm being sarcastic, but only a little. That's definitely the best float right there. Anything with Rapunzel just reminds me of you. Even though you also have the complexion of Snow White, so. Ooh, Simba. He looks handsome. Oh, King Louie. He's the king of the swingers. The jungle VIP. Oh, we finally get to cross the street. Hooray. Pizza is coming my way. I cannot tell you how hungry I am. Oh, they look pretty dapper. Who are they and where'd they get those outfits? Oh, yeah. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. We're squeezing here tighter than I'm squeezing these pants. Believe me, that's saying something today. Woo! It's a lot of people. Yeah. Stepping time, stepping time, stepping time. A dog. You're the man now, dog. Oh, it's over. Thank you for like the never-ending song at the end of that parade. Look at all the dapper people. Dapper people. So many more Christmas decorations up. It's almost Christmas, Hallie. Well, I mean, technically, it is Christmas. I mean, Halloween's over, right? So Christmas is here. Hooray. Do you like Christmas? Yeah. I love Christmas. I'm glad it's Christmas. What about Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? What is that? I thought it went Halloween, Christmas. No. That's how it works. Eat. No, no one likes pilgrims anymore. Buckle shoes are so 90s to celebrate. Buckle hats though, now those could make a comeback. Okay, the line for a photo pass photographer to get a fun pic in front of the castle is a little long at the moment. Oh, that's gonna be a fun one though. We'll just have to get up closer to get an even funner funnish. Funnest, funnest pick. I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is this castle is looking beautiful. Can't wait till they turn all the Christmas lights on for this bad boy. Then I'd have something to be thankful for on Thanksgiving. Okay, come here, Allie. Come on. Fun pick, ready? One, two, three. Fun pick! Did it. We nailed it. Oh, thanks to you and your beautiful face. Oh, I love this castle. I love it. It feels so small and cozy like you could build one in your backyard. Ah. Disneyland. It's getting dark and I still haven't eaten any food. Ali, I need pizza before I resort to cannibalism. Cannibalism. Look at all the fine dapper people. Monstro didn't wear his tux as usual. Monstro never celebrates Dapper Day. He hates it. Oh, we're getting so close to the pizza. I can almost smell it. I'm starving. I'm starving. I would give the whole galaxy for just one slice. Oh, thank God we're saved. Look at it. It's glorious. Oh, salvation, salvation. Now I don't have to resort to cannibalism after all. Finally, I can get my favorite food. Giant galactic carrot. Uh, I need caffeine too. I've been feeling really like lethargic and tired and fatigued lately. I don't know why. At first I thought, thank you, that it was because I was drinking way less soda. I just think now that I don't get enough sleep because I never sleep. Film all day, edit all night, and then I get up and repeat. And when I don't have a day of filming, I'm usually doing a bunch of stuff with Allie or with my family trying to make up for all the days that I was filming. To add to that some natural insomnia and I'm pretty sure that I'm very, very sleep deprived lately. I would go see a doctor, but the funny thing is that I have insurance. But I never actually got a doctor, like picked a doctor. Now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna switch insurance, so I don't wanna go to that, it's a long thing. Oh, this is not a very dapper conversation. I'm sorry about that, I'm just hungry. Waiting for my buzzer to buzz. Waiting for my buzzer to buzz. Waiting for it, 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 buzz. Waiting for it, waiting for it, buzz. But it will soon. Buzz! Buzz! You're doing this to me on purpose! Allie, it's never going to buzz! Oh! <laughs> never... Never mind. It's, um... It's, I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> I got it. Uh, I almost forgot to film this pizza, too. Mm. <sighs> Trying to plan out one last road trip I can take while you're in school before it gets super cold everywhere. I wonder where I might go. Hmm. There's my jacket. It's cold. Oh, I feel so much better now. Huh, not a full moon out tonight, but it looks like we have at least a half a space mountain. They've really done a deal on the lighting on that mountain. I'm already starting to miss Florida's space mountain, but I do love the one in Anaheim. Especially when it's all dappered up as hyperspace mountain. There are surprisingly a lot of people who hate the whole hyperspace 
Space Mountain thing. I'm not always a fan of ride layovers, but I gotta tell you, I think Hyperspace Mountain is one of the best. Looks like a lot of the Dapper people have given up today, but there's still some left. As Dapper Day gets bigger and bigger and the park gets more and more crowded, there's more and more events and meetups outside of Disneyland proper. So it sort of waters down how many Dapper people you see in the park. Not to mention that it went from being really warm today to really cold, so a lot of people have thrown their sweaters over their dapper outfits. Still a few people out here that won't give up, however. What can I say? Some of us are just hardcore dapper. Ooh, Christmas lights up on the Frontierland sign. Oh, dang, this was quick. Look at that. Christmas lights everywhere. See, that girl was smart. She brought some kind of wrap or shawl for the cold night. We did not do that, so Allie had to take my jacket, so now I'm jacketless and cold. Oh, imagine how they feel. They're frozen. Look at that. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. In the I finished, I finished. Allie, you need a sweater so that I can have my jacket back because I'm in the cold west out here. Look, it's Christmas time in here. There's Christmas sweaters. Buffalo. Disneyland has super, 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 super upped their Christmas game this year. Look at, look at this sweater right here. Happy holidays. Just in case you're super into Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or Festivus, you know. For the rest of us. It's Bond. James Bond. <laughs> handsome Chris. How you doing, Handsome Chris? And look, it's Steph. It's your girlfriend. She's less handsome than you, though, Chris. You're so <laughs> yeah, no, handsome. It's our anniversary. How many years? Seven years. Seven years? Seven years? Seven years! Woo. I was going to say that's too long, but... It's never too long to be around handsome Chris. So much Time handsome. Flies. Check this out. Do you know what that is up there, Mr. Fake Tyler, sir? Do you know what that is above your head? Oh, that's that the canoe from Back to the Future. That's, that's it. The canoe yeah. from Back to the Future. Screen used. Screen used. I would never make that up. But Adam the Woo might. But he wouldn't, though. But he wouldn't. But he didn't, I mean. He didn't. Or did he? But seriously, in Back to the Future, in Doc Brown's garage, up in the rafters, you can see a canoe. I believe it. And it, it's that one. They've I've changed it a little, but it's, that's it. I potentially believe it. Okay, I theoretically do too. Have you seen the way Disney up? I know it's supposed to be about Dapper Day, but you seen the way they upped the Christmas merch this game? Is Look at the syrup pour. Look at the little butter dish. Some stanky butter. <laughs> Some stanky butter right there. It's not usually a phrase Here's you want to hear. Oh. <laughs> Full episode one, huh? Yeah, man. That's good. Taking Your it favorite. back. Yeah. 99. Look at this Christmas tree pot. Tree pot. It's a tree pot. Or you can use it as a neti pot. Maybe uh -huh. stick it in your nose. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. My clear out the sinus. Are cleared up. Yeah, you like that? Love Feels that. good. Love oh, that. look at the salt and pepper set. Really, they should have put the pepper in the... They could put the cayenne pepper, maybe, in the fire. So you... Extra spicy, extra hot. Because it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. See what I did there? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. That's why I make Took the big me a bucks. second, but I got it. <laughs> I know. It's oh no. What did you find? Oh. Ornaments. Muppet ornaments. I love the Muppets. Tyler hates the Muppets. I don't hate the Muppets. You hate the Muppets. Please stop telling the general public I hate everything. You do hate the Muppets, though. I don't hate the Muppets. It's not my cool. favorite. Oh, see, there it comes. It's starting to come out now. I don't even know why we're friends. You literally don't like anything that I like except for Star Wars and Disneyland, kind of, and not. I really like knots. Okay. And Red Robin. You like Red Robin. Yeah. yeah. I like your friendship. Really? Yeah. Wait, how come Alex is dressed up and you're not dressed up? How come Alex looks rather fetch and you look like a dog catcher uh, on the weekends? I am, I am dressed up. You just can't see it right now. Oh. It's a daytime costume. That's... What? Whoa! What's that? Someone put a quarter in the old doohickey machine! I love these! They used to be all over the park!
was awesome. Oh, Tyler has a joke. Tyler wants to tell everybody something about this over here. What is this, Tyler? What do we see in front of us? Well, if you look closely, it's uh -huh. a buffalo wearing a Santa hat. Okay. So naturally, you'd think, buffalo, ho, 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 buffalo. And to all a good night. What'd you get? Oh. Uh, you got the cute one. You got the cute Christmas sweater. Even I want one of those. I want to be cute someday. Someday. Oh yeah, that's what time it is. Justin's got his jacket back time. Look at all that beautiful Christmasiness. Christmasness. Christmasness. Christ. Mistness. Christmasness. Christmas. Christmasness. Christmas. Look at all these dapper folks right here. It's the king of dapper. Every day's dapper day to Charles Phoenix. It's Charles Phoenix. Give me all these people. Hello. They're still dapper. <laughs> Some people haven't given up. I'm glad. You never know who you're going to run into while you're out being dapper. Tyler really doesn't know because he's never dapper. Not even once. Tyler doesn't dress up, but you know who does? The Haunted Mansion. How's that for a segue? It's time for the Haunted Mansion Holiday! Ooh, look at that! Holiday edition! That's the best edition there is! Um, maybe not, but, you know, for the sake of the argument. I actually like the regular Haunted Mansion better, personally. I know Tyler loves the Haunted Mansion Holiday version way more. I actually prefer, like, prefer the regular version I will version not better. go on the Haunted Mansion unless there's Jack Skellington. I've heard yeah. you say that a thousand times. I've even said that one time. In my mind. Ooh, look how spooky it is. It's so spooky. It's playing Phantom Manor music. The music out here, that's the music from Phantom Manor. Ooh, makes me think of Fred. Bam, 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 bam. Bum, 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 Mona Lisa and stuff. Da, 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 bum, bum. Hey! Oh man, that's so cute. All the Disney goths are so stoked. All the Disney goths. I do not like the color of that horse, but he does have a lot of spirit, and that is something to admire. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, JK, we gotta stand in line on the side of the building. I thought we were going right up. Nope. It's time for the line of your life. Look at all these dead pets. There used to be a band called the Dead Pets. I played with them before. They were from England. Whenever the Dead Pets would play in the United States, I'd be like, yes, I am from London. But they weren't. They weren't from London. They were from New York or somewhere. Hey, have you ever seen Pet Cemetery? No, why would I? Well, I've seen Straight this one. off the road. Stay off the road! I like the South Park version better. You don't want to go down that road. That's around where all the children were massacred in 34. <laughs> all right, now here we go. I know you're curious to see what's inside. Was the nightmare before Christmas children? Nestled all snug in their beds Would have nightmares of monsters and skeleton heads Those fun pics, you're loving this. Oh, she look at the steady hand. You weren't even looking at me. You were like, So it turns out this version of the ride is your girlfriend's favorite. Yeah, I like it's, the original. It's version. not your favorite, though. You hate it. I don't hate it. Admit it. I don't hate it. I actually okay, like it. Okay, okay. I like it. I think Tim Burton is a genius, and I like Tim Burton stuff. Okay, you know, That's a, exactly. You look very Tim Burton y in a very good way. Allie's always creepy, but mostly because she hides around corners and this terrifies me. Like, if I get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, Allie will not be in bed. She'll be out in the hallway creeping. Creeping! Ooh, I'm ready! Time to board! Here we go! Ooh, I don't hate this! Look at Zero! Oh, my God. 
so much. I guess I should have put that together before. On the fifth day of Christmas, my ghoul love gave to me. Well, she's celebrating Christmas, so she can't be that right. right. Uh, smells like gingerbread in here. It smells so good. Look at that. Sally themed gingerbread house. I love it. On the snow. Gingerbread snow. There's the Christmas tree, and there's the spider covering the bullet hole right there. Did you see it? Yeah. The attic alley. The attic. What was that? I just realized this is the most dapper I've ever looked in a haunted house. Oh, here's our buddy. Well, that looks a little. That looks a little weird right there. That was. That was unusual. Look at the ride stopped. You guys are having so much fun. You guys look so happy. Oh, here we go, here we go. We're going. Ooh, I love it. Oh, there's the mansion back there and our scary trees. Scary Teddy. Scary trees. What? I know that voice. Who's that? Jack. Come on, don't be shy. It's Christmas. He looks so handsome. Yes, I have. Oh, oh Jack. And look, it's his number one squeeze. Sally! Sally! It's Sally! Look at her. She moved her leg. I think that means she's happy. Oh, fancy pumpkin mountain. Sing along. Happy. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to shut up now. I can't tell if they won or we won. It's like sort of in between. Tyler, you're the wiener! You're the big wiener! That was fun! It was nice to see the Haunted Mansion get all dressed up and get all dapper on Dapper Day. That's good. What are you doing there, buddy? Michael Jackson. That doesn't... Okay. Oh, it's scarier when you have to walk up the escalator thingy. Creepy. That was fun. Good time. Good time. You should come with me to Roswell. Tomorrow. We should go to Roswell, New Mexico. Tomorrow's Monday. I know. So dapper. We should ride Space Mountain. Ah, Space Mountain. Tyler More like do Hyper that. Space Mountain. Oh, you're Star excited. Wars. Okay, he's Star happy. Wars. He's happy. Of course, we have to head into the world of the future, and I'm basically going exactly backwards. But it's time for Hyperspace Mountain! Goodbye, fireworks! I'll see you next time! Alright, just this one more ride, though, and we gotta go. Because I am super, super tired. Which is weird, because I feel like I haven't even been here that long. Yep, I bought Allie a sweater so that I could get my jacket back, because I was feeling pretty cold, you know, but then... Tyler's girlfriend got cold, so I gave her my jacket because Tyler refuses to buy his own girlfriend. That is just not true. A sweater. It's just not true. Where's your sweater then? Oh, yeah. Is that better, Alex? Yeah, thank Feel you. better? Okay, there we go. Don't Thanks, worry, I'll Justin. handle it. I'll Thanks, handle Justin. it. Justin, thank you. It's time. Are you ready for this, Allie? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready?
A Star Destroyer! Ha, 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 ha. He said it! He it's said a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, best overlay ever. Oh my gosh. It's a fun one. What a fun one. Fun pick. Fun pick alert. That's a fun one right there. That's a fun pick. What a fun one. What a fun Oh, Tyler's pretending to be asleep. What a fun one. <laughs> I can't believe he pretended to be asleep. I've never done that before. I actually fell asleep. Wow. <laughs> But after you got hit, I heard you on there. That's a fun ride. It's a real treasure. We'll always remember that last time we hung out together. What the heck is that? What is that? It's hard Anaheim water. What the heck? That's the water from the drinking fountain? Yep. No, it's not. Yeah, it's cloudy until it settles down, but it's kind of gross at first. But I live in Anaheim. I drink that tap water. Like and it's every perfect, day. It's perfectly fine. And that's great for your bones. Eat good bones. You got French bones. Let me see your bones. You got great bones, boy. I'd like, to, I'd like to come down to the farm. You got great bones. We got we to gotta plant some seed for next season. And you got great bones for showing. What do you think? Give me a call. See ya. I wanted to come and film a video about Dapper Day. But all I can think of now is Star Wars. I am pumped. I am feeling super hyper. Probably because I just rode Hyper Space Mountain. Hyper! 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 Space! Hyper! Space! Hyper! Space! Hyper! Space. Wait, 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 one more time for good measure. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot, bunch! Okay, I believe you. This is definitely the weirdest dapper day yet for me. And that's saying something. The first Dapper Day I ever came to and filmed, I was here filming a totally different video about the Disneyland submarines and their history and stuff. They kept looking up from near the submarines and seeing all these people in like really cute like poodle skirts for the girls and like elaborate dresses and there were dudes wearing ties and it was like in the middle of the day and I was like, what's going on here? And finally someone told me, hey dude, it's Dapper Day. Dapper Day? So my first Dapper Day experience was basically walking from the submarines over into Frontierland and out of the park and just looking at people like, they look dapper. And that was it. So I guess I've just continued the tradition of every Dapper Day being just a little bit different than the last. Johnny Depp? <laughs> Look at all the Dapper people. They've done their Dapper duty. They can go home and sleep well. Now I gotta come see what my people are up to here. Oh, yeah. there's Miner right there, Disney Canvas. We got Mitch P and the uh, lovely Janelle. And wait, why are you wearing my jacket? I'm not. I gave it to her to wear. I'm not. Were you cold? No. Ah, now I gotta get a new suit. My jacket's all Tylery. Yes, that is Daphne right there. Those people are definitely gonna sleep well. Well, what can we say now? But thank you, Walt, for one more magical day. You know, thinking about it now, I should have worn a little fake mustache, like a little Walt mustache, and I should have just been Walt today. I have the Walt hair going, I got the suit, dang it! Put that in my good idea folder. For good or evil, for better or for worse, my dapper day has come to a dapper finish. I am dap diddly done today. Next dapper day, we'll dress up as something crazy, or maybe Mr. Dapper will come back. Next dapper day, we'll do something cool. This dapper day, was just, I just wanted one chill dapper day. 
I think I had it. Nothing crazy happened. Oh, finally back to my dapper car. Well, that was nice. Nice, peaceful dapper day. Didn't have to be Mr. Dapper. Didn't have to run around all crazy. I liked it. Did you have fun, Allie? Yeah. Good. Good. Nothing to do now but go home. Let's take the shortcut. Whoa! What's that in the road? What is that? What is that? Julio? What are you doing out here? Well, the only reason you haven't been in any videos is there haven't been any Mr. Dapper videos. I know that people in the comments want you. Yes, I'm aware of that, Julio. Do you really think that this is the appropriate time and place to be having this conversation? Wait, what are you doing? What is that? Julio, whoa, 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 whoa. Put the gun down. Put the gun down, Julio. Hey, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. All right, we'll do whatever you want. We'll do whatever you want. Not that, Julio. Please, anything but that. Yes, of course, Julio. My little dapper friend. We are going to have so many new adventures together. Maybe we can even convince Justin Scared to put you in his videos. He's afraid of everything. <laughs> My little dapper bird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to go to sleep now, Julio? Every little chicken needs his rest. Julio, say goodnight. You smell of lilies and roses. Put the gun down so you can, so you can rest. It's getting so heavy. Julio, my little chicken. Not that you're afraid. <laughs> I'm a little afraid. Not of you, though, Julio. <laughs> Help.